Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to fold the tetrahedron by Haga. This is the completed model. Um, I think it's um, quite a nice one. So we're going to start with the white side up and we're going to fold the model in half or rather just bend it because we're just going to pinch the model a bit on the side. So you can see you've just got a small fold there. And then you take the paper and fold to that pinch, or rather again just bend, because you're just going to pinch off the middle a bit. So there you've got your pinch. Now you're going to take that point, and you're going to fold it so that it starts in the first pinch and it aligns with the second pinch, like so. And then you fold that through. Now you're going to take the side, like this side, and you're going to align it with that crease you just made, and you're creating the same angle on the other side, like this. Now you will see you've got two points, and those two points we're going to connect with a valley fold. So when you unfold, you can see you've got a valley fold right in a triangle. Now you're going to take that edge and bring it to the crease, the last crease you just made. And you're going to fold that through all the way. So what you get is this crease. Now next we're going to take this point and bring it over to that point and then we're going to make a crease. So you just align those two points and then you fold and it starts in the one of the corners of the paper. So you crease that through. And you've got that valley fold. Now you take that point, fold it over to the point. They're basically doing the same thing on the other side just creasing that through, just like so. And then you've got that crease. Now, next we're going to take that point and fold it down there. So you just align those two points. And then you just crease on the side and you crease up to where all these creases meet. And then you can see when you lift the paper, got some paper overlapping and that you're going to fold down in a mountain fold so afterwards you just have one straight line so you can see up there you've got a small fold and you created that crease now you're going to do the same thing on the other side just bringing those two points together folding on the side a bit then folding back the overlapping paper and there you've got your crease again. Now what we're going to do is take this valley fold and just fold it back in. We're going to assemble the model now. We've got the pre-creasing done. So you've got a valley fold here and a mountain fold here and inside up to there you've got a valley fold again. So just make a mountain fold there and the valley fold is just going to pop up just as you want and then you can see inside the model you've got a valley fold there so it's lying on the paper. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take this valley fold and then afterwards that valley fold folding both up. First this one and then to fix that side you fold the other valley fold inside. And then you might want to straighten out the edge and next what you're going to do is fold along this valley fold and you know just bring it inside like so and then in the top you go along that valley fold and just pinch it a bit again to reinforce it. And then you can fold that side down and 
you um, basically get a tetra hidden shape and you can see there you're just going along existing creases right but now um, obviously that side isn't staying fixed so what we're going to do is take that point and then fold it on the bottom you can see just fold that inside and then straighten out the folds again a bit and finally you're going to take then the last side just on the bottom and you fold that up like so and then you've got the overlapping bit and that you're going to fold inside the model so you just push it inside the model on the top you've got to be a bit careful but um, this makes the model very stable so it's a nice locking mechanism and then when you've got that you straighten out the folds a bit maybe and the points and then you've got your tetrahedron all done and as you can see there is no unnecessary folds on the sides of the tetrahedron so um, it's a very nicely designed model by Haga.